Ronaldo Tambellini um, has been a really important filmmaker. He was also a major catalyst for a lot of the expanded media and performance activity that was happening in New York in the 1960s. I think he was really embracing an expanded approach to um, <clears throat> interweaving a lot of different kinds of media from film to performance to music to sound to poetry to political activism. All these things came together in his work in a really powerful way. He started as a painter and a sculptor and he started taking slides of those paintings and burning them, scratching them, painting on the glass slide cases, and then projecting these incredible shapes. Notably, he was also one of the very first artists to experiment with video and with television. He said he was 15 years old, and he walked beside us there in the littered fields of the ghetto. He so the first time I did the uh, the uh, performance was at, at Columbia University, and it was called Black. It was uh, two poets and one dancer, and myself with a projection. I was a friend of a uh, black poet. Ishmael Reed was one of the poets, and Norman Preacher, who died uh, quite a while back. I made Black several times, and each time there was a change into it. It was like a work in progress. Then, little by little, uh, became black uh, zero. Progressively became more involved with media. Uh, the last time I added television to it, which it was not in the beginning, very obviously. A million psychoanalysts shall drop dead and you'll be caught beating your meat in the black mariah of ozone boxes. When I write poetry, it's very, it's very political because that's the life that we're all having on Earth. But when I do paint, I think I'm like in space, and where there are also all round form and blackness. Four, three, two, one, zero. When I was in New York, we had a, a movie theater where we show uh, seven days a week experimental film, which today nobody would go to a set uh, museum place or a, or a university or something. We used to call it underground. They had a platform that I painted black and I called that the Black Gate. We had a show by Nanjun Pike and Charlie Murma. We had a show there by Kusama, which now became very well known. Uh, we used to project on the wall around, and the people sat on the floor like we did last night. So they were kind of surrounded by things themselves. In other words, you wanted, you wanted the audience to be, to be part of it as much as you can, even, even with the city in the place. The response has been very, very enthusiastic. And it is a rediscovery. It's a process of recuperating someone who's weirdly remained invisible, even though this work is so powerful. I never had an audience as big as this or last night. Last night, it must be what, like 400 people at least. I said a lot of this should have happened a long, long time ago. No, the age of 82. <laughs>